hallelujah on I guess who's cable three usually supposed to be on five and I don't know if I have the chords right for it but that b7 that b7 always gets me that's but I think it's the but it's going from the d chord So I've been maybe playing guitar since December, December-ish. One day I was walking to hang out with Rob and I was like, oh, what are we gonna do? We were meeting at the watershed, which is our halfway point from his mom's, from my mom's. Watershed's right in the middle. I was like, oh man, what are we gonna do today? And I was like, fuck, maybe I should just bring the guitar. I've been talking about learning it for a while now. Learning any instrument, I have never, I've always wanted to learn some instrument, but I had never, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of practice and it's a lot of dedication. And to master something, it's it's a lot. 10,000 hours to be a master, that's a lot. And even now it's been, I guess seven months, that's just off the top of my head. What was that? Maybe it's the guitar, it sounded like I farted, but it wasn't me, I didn't fart. I give a little, ooh, ooh it's okay <laughs> my CD just get and everybody heard you that one rip. I'm gonna make you dance it's your chance yeah boy shake that ass whoops I mean girl 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 you know you're my world no lose it ah! just lose it ah! <laughs> the dogs are looking at me like girl what are you doing but yeah I really want to learn the guitar because it's another way to be an outlet another way to to express myself I've always been a writer I not always I've been a writer since about grade 11 grade 12 ish uh, maybe even grade 10 it was when I started smoking weed for the first time so yeah maybe grade 10 sounds about right and no because I had an English teacher it was really my English teacher in grade 11 mr. Van Camp holla to you man he really was the one who who pushed us pushed us to be creative and not just like bland have something to say have something to say be prepared have something to say and i've really been using those words over the course of my life so far and that's been five years since grade 11 and i'm w excited for the day that my my words my lyrics and and my music come together right now i'm kind of just learning the basics of the sound and I kind of generalize things as sad chords and happy chords, like your minors and such. Like, oh, I haven't done that like that in a while. Uh, C7, usually I'll do a C7. I guess whenever I look at Rob and he's playing, I can't understand what he's playing because there's just fingers all in the way, but he can follow me. So yeah, I guess I have, actually no, I have three sets of chords. I have my sadder chords, my happier chords, and my country chords. So in the country chords we have E, A7, B7. I think there's like a D chord, but. That's the B7 that I was talking about earlier that I have a really tough time playing. country chords sad chords and happy chords and I know it's very basic and and general 
but it helps me. It's helping me right now group things and be able to play things that are similar to one another as I'm going on my journey of writing. And I, you know, when I first started, I'd carry the guitar around and, you know, I'd talk about it a lot more. And people, oh, what songs can you play? What songs are you learning? Uh, I don't really got any. I just want to play my own. I want to learn so I can play my own songs right now. Oh, Bella, she's looking at me so sweet. Just out in the yard. Oh, I can't zoom in. But there's Bella and Tuckaloo. So yeah, it's another way for me to be a creative outlet and I'm waiting for the day I tell people, I'm waiting for the day that my, my lyrics, my writing matches up with the music so that I'm able to tell stories and tell things that have happened in a different form opposed to reading it. You can hear it and feel it in a different way and that's what I'm about. I'm about feeling the sensation of things. And I'm really looking forward to the journey and right now it's really hard building the calluses on the fingers. I know I've been saying I've been playing since December. It's an on and off thing, you know. The first month, like Rob and I, this is how I fell in love with Rob. The first month, I would go over to his house at night and we'd just play guitar and I'd play my ABCs and he'd follow behind. And as I'm playing, you know, just strumming like boom, 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 boom. Since he's been playing 12 years, that's just basic shit. So he's all the way at QRS and I'm down here at ABC. So I would be doing that and he'd just be doing this. And I'd go to sleep, I'd drive home, I'd go home at the end of the night, and all I would hear is these songs, these beautiful things, and I'd fall asleep. And it was the soundtrack of our lives, the soundtrack of our love life, the love that's flourishing. And it was just so beautiful. It was so, it was so beautiful to have this happen. And then we started living together in January, so the following month. So December, we were playing together all the time, almost every, at least four days a week. And I'd ask him questions about the guitar and different things, and we'd go out for a smoke for a break and whatnot. And then when we moved in together, it just stopped happening. I. I don't know if I felt insecure or what it is about playing with him, it just wasn't the same. I almost felt there was an expectation even though I know it's not true. I just expected myself to be as good as him and Rob is very good. He's very good at what he does because he's put in that practice. He's played in several different genres of band. He started off, he had his first guitar was electric and, and he was a metalhead and long hair and everything. Ooh, what's the dog running at? <coughs> They're going upstairs, it's okay. They're like my children, you know. <laughs> my puppies. But it slowly stopped and and now it's coming back to a place where I'm writing again, I'm I'm putting in some more creative effort into what I do so that I can play with him. And it, we have two songs we know together, uh, Norwegian Wood, which I have a very hard time singing with. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. And also Jolene, Dolly Parton. Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene Ooh, I'm begging of you, please don't take my man Both of those I struggle with. I struggle a lot with singing right now because A, I don't practice, B, I'm a smoker, C, the combination of A and B makes it really difficult. Fuck. <laughs> oh. And I... I came up here and I almost didn't even want to 
I wasn't gonna, I didn't know what I was gonna say. I knew I was gonna talk about guitar, but I had sat in the hammock and it was like, oh no, I do not want to talk. I just want to be in this moment. And I forget what it's like coming up here because I haven't spent as much time. So I think I'm gonna go enjoy that. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Goodbye, lovelies.